The latest numbers in the coronavirus pandemic here in Wisconsin and the increase in cases they have seen a dip from recent days. There are now over 28,100 cases here in the state. That's over 300 cases from Sunday. 779 people in Wisconsin have died from complications due to the virus. Meanwhile, over 22,000 people have recovered. And as far as the percentage of positive cases in the state, that also goes down to 5%. It's the lowest in four days. With national coronavirus numbers rising, lawmakers of both parties make a new pitch to wear face masks. Some states like California and North Carolina, they now require them for people in public. Jason Calvi speaking to the lieutenant governor today and asking him if Wisconsin will follow suit. Jason. Well, Ben, the answer to that question is no. He says it would take an act of the legislature to require face masks in public at the state level. And the Senate Majority Leader Scott Fitzgerald says he's not interested, but people should still follow those safe practices. The coronavirus pandemic leaves child care provider Cynthia Brown out of work. Right now, it's kind of hard to get food and all the other stuff, keep your bills paid. You got to got to make the choice of whether you're going to pay the bills or feed your kids. Now, one less thing to worry about. You have a good one. Wisconsin Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barnes joins the face mask and school supplies giveaway at Milwaukee's Social Development Commission. Now, if someone was to say, you know, I got a solution to decrease the likelihood of you contracting COVID-19 by five times. you are like, great, where is it? And they're like, simple, wear a mask. The 33-year-old Lieutenant Governor urges his fellow millennials to mask up. You may think that you're healthy, you may think that you're strong, and I feel like this is the same message that I was saying back in March. Uh, you may think that this kind of thing won't affect you, and it may not, but there are other people around you who you could who you could impact, and that impact can be fatal. From the state's number two to the country's, Vice President Pence did not wear a face mask in last week's visit to Wisconsin, but he did Sunday in Texas. In a Monday call with the country's governors, he spoke of encouraging face coverings when social distancing cannot be maintained. To keep my, me safe and my kids safe from we don't want to catch any virus. <laughs> Yeah, and keeping other people safe too. As the country still fights a pandemic. I pray every day, strong every day. So, yeah, it's really helped though. It really helped. And the Centers for Disease Control recommend face masks when people are in public, outside of the people that they live with in their home, especially in situations where they can't practice the normal social distancing. We're reporting at a pretty empty Lincoln Park. Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News. All right, Jason, thank you.